guys, what's up? Uh, F4 here, add me on Discord or Steam, whichever ones you like. If you need help and tips and so forth. Um, this is my little build for pre Nergigante. It's alright. Health Charm 3, you might not be able to get that. Probably the highest is Health Charm 2. But get the highest one you can. You want to bring 10 Mega Potions, 2 Max Potions just in case. Ideally, you want to get Weakness Exploit as fast as possible. Why I'm using Jagger's Hacker 3, because that's probably as high as you can get. Uh, Wyvern Ignition is the best great sword. Pre Iceborne, that is. You want to get that when the event comes around, it'll be this one, Every Hunter's Dream. Anyway, let's get into it, Nergigante, right? Hopefully, we don't crash land. Uh, the gloves on this armor is not really needed. I just put it on there because I was like, ah, there's nothing else that's pre Nergigante that's good. So, daily skills bottom right here, no insurance, so we don't really have to worry too much. If there is insurance, you pray it's in the chef choice because activation down here, see how it's two star, this is three star, it means all three of these food skills will be 100%. Uh, I'll just go for this. Just so I don't waste a max potion mm -hmm. to get my health maxed out. Pop your might seed, pick these ones up. So you're gonna run at him, chop him, tackle his roar, chop him again, and I think he's gonna roar again. Yeah, two times. From what I can remember. Oh, this is such a bad position. I want to aim for his arms and his head. Oh my god. There we go. Oh crap. So energy Gante is pretty easy to dodge. You just hold any directional key. Like, well, left or right. And you don't even have to run. You'll dodge probably a good 80 to 90 percent of his moves like this. Okay, that's one of the moves that's gonna hit you. So, not bad at all. That's the same move. So, the only other option I would think if you use a great sword against this guy and you haven't beaten him yet is go for the critical brawl method which is kind of stupid I would think because it's kind of slow if you're playing great sword you know you gotta be a little tougher than that than running around stabbing the guy falls down, you want to two charge. Uh, if his horn's in the way, tackle two times, and then that's how you get to the two charge. But, uh, it's not that bad. Like I said, dodging's pretty simple. If you're going to be like, you know, Try to get him into a committed move, and then just go for the true charge. But if you're a great sword user, you need to know how to tackle. If you don't, that's kind of sad, but you definitely want to practice it. The fun thing about great sword is like when you hit them, they usually stumble and fall right over. So it's a really good, fun weapon to play. It's just, like, look at this. I'm not even using the top tier stuff, and it's still hella fun to play this weapon. 
Make sure your health is pretty maxed up. Oh crap. Let's get that health. So yeah, make sure you get that wyvern ignition if you're a great sword user. If watching this video and you still have problems, definitely send me a friend request or something and give me a message like, hey, you think you can help me out with Bird Gigante real quick? I'll probably help you out, unless I'm busy. Oh wow, roll through it and then he still got me with the lingering hitbox. It's, oh wow, he's dying already. Alright, so we didn't get to show off ledge hopping, but we could do that. Uh, we can show what's the wake up. You need to know how to wake up monsters. If you're a great sword user, you are the go to guy for wake ups. Anytime the monster goes to sleep, 9 out of 10, you're the guy who's gonna do the wake up. If not, your team probably does not know wake ups do double damage. So, what I do for him is I run up to his neck. Right about here, block, roll back, directional key forward, and attack at the same time. Then you just want to let everything go except for this last one. This is the only one you charge. 648 with this really bad weapon right here. This is a top here, so. Oh, he's even tired. Oh, crap. So you want a sheaf and swan dive immediately. Well, when he gets close. He wasn't aiming at me, but if he was, that's what you want to do. I'm gonna let this go, because I don't know what he's gonna do. Thank god I did, because he would have roared, but if I would have ate that roar. Two tackles just to get through the bounce, and he's dead. Five minutes. 56 seconds is what I got on my timer. Yep. Not bad, not bad. And again, here's the little equipment I got. No decorations. Uh, you could switch out the Kessadon guard, the gloves. You don't really need that. It's not that important. I just have it because I was like, eh, I wonder what low level stuff is out there. And I thought that's really useful for 30%. When you're low level, most of the time you'll be sliding. Uh, great sword, not so much, but 30% affinity just because you were sliding, that's not bad. Yeah, so. Not much about here. Pretty easy guy to beat. Like you see here, this is not you know, Elder Dragon gear right here, maybe the health charm you can argue is, you know, you can't get that, but all you gotta do is keep your health up, run sideways, and true charge them. You could tackle, but just tackle the light stuff. Definitely get into tackling, it's good for you. Alright, that's pretty much it.